Before we begin, I would like to give a quick thank you to every single one of my members. Without these people, I would not be able to do what I do today. So thank you. Another day, another unit. In the battle pass at level 25, you're now able to get the first ever hybrid money unit. As we evolve the shiny version, obviously, come on. But in this video, I am going to be showcasing her, showcasing her damage, showcasing everything that makes her special. So without further ado, let's start it. Okay, I don't think you need to talk about this specific fact, but Nami is a character from the anime One Piece. I think a lot of you people understood that. But either way, she is a hybrid unit, obviously meaning that she can be, be placed both on the hill and on the ground, which is quite nice. So upgrade one is 500, and she stays at splash AoE for the first couple of upgrades. She is splash AoE for first upgrade, second upgrade, but on the third upgrade, she becomes line AoE. Also called Cyclone Tempo, which is which is kind of cool. And to be honest, for a farm unit, she actually doesn't do a, she isn't actually horrible on damage. 5.5k on upgrade three at level 93. Obviously evolved because let's be honest, if you aren't evolving your units, what are you doing? She stays line elite for upgrade four, upgrade five, upgrade six. Actually, for upgrade five. Sorry, on upgrade six is when she becomes Cone AOE, which is pretty cool. And obviously, if you look at her damage, she is going to be insane with damage because having a hybrid farm unit that also does a lot of damage while also earning you money is uh, it's just a touch overpowered, I'd say. Just a touch. She also stays Kone AoE for the rest of her upgrades. Upgrade 8. Her max, she has 8 upgrades, and she stays on Kone AoE, as I already said. 21,747 damage is how much mine does at level 93. Again, there is a little bit of variation in the damage with units, so not all numbers are going to be exact. And also, if you're enjoying the video, then make sure to not only like the video, but also subscribe with notifications turned on. Thank you! But let's talk about how Nami earns you money. So occasionally, you'll notice with the enemies that there will be a golden symbol over top of them. That means that this unit has a bounty over them. And when they are killed, I think with all units, it might also be with just Nami. I'm not exactly 100% sure about that specific little piece of tidbit of information. Uh, but either way, when they are killed, they drop money. And here's an example of a bounty unit right here. So depending on how many upgrades Nami has, she gives a decent amount of money. In that case, it gave me 3,700. But again, that was also multiple units being killed. So that could have just been the sum of like multiple units. To talk about how many units you can have down of Nami, you can only have a maximum of three, which kind of makes sense since she is a uh, farm unit and having a lot of money later on would be kind of busted. Something to keep in mind when using Nami. Nami is an unsellable unit. So if you're going to place Nami in a spot, make sure that your placement that you... Make sure the spot that you're going to be placing Nami down at isn't a spot that one of your comrades or players that you're playing with is going to be placing down another... So damage wise, she's not amazing. 21,000 damage. It's not anything to like be freaking out about, but the fact that a farm unit can now do damage is kind of cool. If you guys want to know how to make a lot of gems, then click on this video right here. In this video, I talk about a couple strategies on how to maximize your gem gain and also how to uh, hold mythics easier as well. Then click this video right here and go watch it. Thanks for watching.